I'm really, really excited to learn something new today. The piazza is a Persian word meaning two onions. It's a family affair today in the Linny studio at Lin Hall as Masuda Shirzad and her daughter Mashal make do piazza, a traditional Afghan dish. We use a lot of onions cooking this dish and then also at the end we garnish it with marinated onions. Onions are like the base for a lot of dishes in our cuisine, Afghan okay. cuisine. So do you want me to start cutting? What you want to do, sweetheart, just help me with this, just peel. This one? Yeah. How do you want me to? You just cut, you know, this part. Watch your fingers, make sure you hold the onions for So, Shal, are you still learning to cook? I am um, still clearly learning yeah. um, how to cook, uh, but I mean, I have great guidance. Both my parents are amazing in the kitchen. Um, but really, I just eat well. Yeah. Do you want me to cut them? Like, how how would you like me to do this? Oh, so oh, we use the white onion. Sorry. <laughs> so you use the red one. For, that would be for salad. But <laughs> where did you learn how to cook? So I actually learned cooking when I came to America. Okay. I grew up in Kabul, Afghanistan, and I, when you watch people cooking, you know, you learn. But once I moved to USA, just for the past 30 years or so, I learned how to cook when I when I came here. With anything, you know, cooking is just like you learn, and um, then you, you get better and better. We have the onions cut up. What What's the next step we're doing? Okay, you pour some oil, you know, like half a cup or mm -hmm. maybe a little more. You yep. know, you just put the onions there. I love the smell the of smell like of onions yeah. right in the oil. Yeah. So we just stir it. I'm gonna turn this off because you know we want to have the lamb to put on top of this. And then these are the lamb shakes. I mean, these are beautiful. Just you can just trim up, trim it up trim, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. If there's any like fat that yep. you don't like, you want to get rid of that. I think sometimes lamb shank people are uh, really afraid to use it. It's not something that a lot of households are, you know, familiar with it. I love lamb shank. I think it's one of the most delicious. delicious yeah. Just because it's on that bone right in the middle bone, there. Bone, yeah. And that's where all the that bone, flavor is. The broth, it's just, yeah, it's just I'm, yeah, it's just I'm a huge, yeah. huge fan. I think this much is good. I add the meat here. We're going to throw some garlic in? Yes. Yep. And she said four to five cloves for now. I mean, we could smell that garlic, that onion, and even that lamb searing. It smells so delicious. Yeah, our house growing up was very fragrant. Yeah. Every day we came home from school and I knew exactly what was on the stove. Yeah. Based on how it smelled. Yeah, definitely. Everything you're saying is just like my childhood is like yeah. going through my head too. And I'm like, oh yeah. Sometimes you'd be embarrassed to have friends over because you're like, oh, they, they might think it's weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? So, I definitely can relate to yeah. that. Uh, growing up a little bit though, then it's like, oh, I have this amazing facet yeah. of my culture. And that is like, I didn't eat mac and cheese growing yeah. up. I or really peanut didn't. butter and jelly sandwiches yeah. after school, yeah. Now you're gonna throw in some spices. Yeah, we'd start with salt. Okay. Salt is like something that you keep adding okay. and you, you taste, you know, yeah. the salt. There's not that exact amount. They should put one spoon or two spoons. This is uh, ground coriander. It just adds so much uh, flavor. Black pepper. Yep. Just a little bit. The cayenne is just optional. You do not want to put a lot. Just, just a tiny bit. I mean. So you want to do the, the, turn the heat a little bit up. You see all of the spices kind of, you can just smell that. Yeah, the aroma. so it's like toasting it. Yeah, yeah, yep. toasting, exactly. And then also we're, we're, we're browning that shank too. We're, yes, we're creating yeah, that yeah. sear, which has all that flavor in it. Yeah, yep. yeah, you want to get rid of that, you know, like the, the smell. That. <laughs> she calls it the lamb smell. Yeah, no, I <laughs> or, love that. Chicken smell, yeah. you know, chicken has. <laughs> yeah, chicken, pork, you know, all they all have a different smell. The yeah, lamb yeah. smell, I love that, yeah. No, like the next step is to just add water. Turmeric, and this adds color. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add a little more because you yeah. want the color to be vibrant and a little deep yellow. 
And you always keep adding, you know, the yeah. spices or anything that you feel like, you know. And anything that you're braising or stewing, I've always learned that you have to keep tasting as it goes because when it's braising exactly. and stewing, the flavor changes, you know, exactly. so. So I'm going to just, you know, taste mm -hmm. a little bit. And I think that's what makes this kind of uh, cooking so beautiful. It's like, it's very interactive. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't just set it in and forget it and kind of go on. I call it soul food. Yeah. It's very soulful because you tend to it. You open the dish, you stir it, and you smell it. You can add more spices if you need to. So then we're gonna close the pot. Mm -hmm. We let this um, to basically cook. So while this gets ready, we can boil the split peas make the salad. And we are going to chop some cilantro to put on top of everything at the end. And we also are gonna make the marinated onions that go on top of the dish as a garnish. And for the marinated onions, all you really need is the white vinegar and salt. In Afghan culture, is it a communal event when it comes to cooking? It's a big thing, cooking. Yeah. You know, it bring people together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you share your stories and you, you're having basically fun. It's not yeah. like, a, oh my gosh, I have to go cook. Yep. You know, so it, that's why it makes it so much, so much fun. Yeah. Afghan cooking is vibrant. It's loud. It's a lot of activity. It's never like a lull. It's never like calmly waiting for yeah. like a crock oh, no. pot. It's very hands-on. So we add the split yellow peas. When you add the yellow peas in there, is it gonna keep cooking a little bit too? Oh, we're gonna just leave it for a few minutes so okay. to get the flavors from mm -hmm. the, the broth. I'll just find a taste as far as the seasoning and especially the salt. Mm. It's great, that's good. All done, and we put the cover so it stays warm. And then we make the salad. What is the role of food in your family? We bring, you know, people together. My partner and I will come every Sunday night to come break bread. Yeah. The focal point of that gathering is the food and it's, you know, every week it's something different. It's my mom cooks or dad cooks, you know, and not to pit them against one another, but my partner. <laughs> oh, no, I love this cooking. <laughs> no, but my love partner loves when my mom cooks yeah. because she brings these flavors that my partner is so unfamiliar with. And and it's like the way she cooks, yeah. you know, is 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 different. You can tell that it came from the homeland, mm -hmm. from the motherland. You should see my dad when he takes one bite out of a meal that she's prepared. Yeah. And it's just like, they look at each other across the table and yeah. he's just like, you know, that praise and that love yeah. and, and the appreciation. So this next part, you're gonna put the marinated? Marinated onions. Okay. And you just put it right on top? And we keep some for the garnish. Then. Okay. That looks so delicious. The, the plaza is ready. So now we're going to dish it out. The bread first. This is Afghani bread. So we have the lamb shanks and the Afghani salad, and we have the marinated onions. This is so, so amazing. That's so delicious. It's so tender, like it just kind of breaks apart. Yeah, that's how you want it. So this kind of the meat to just detach from mm -hmm. the from the bone. And that onion really cuts through it, you know? Mm -hmm. I think one of the greatest testament to what uh, you guys are doing is having a restaurant for 32 years is unheard of. Like that- That is a long time. I, I mean, can't believe it myself. What does it mean? for you to share your food and your culture. It's been a beautiful journey. Um, you know, to run a restaurant is not easy, but totally worth it because you like give them something that you cook with lots of love and you share that with everybody that come at, uh, at your place. That's very satisfying. Yeah, the food is important and it's on me really to like pursue that learning process because Something I want to be able to pass it down to my kids someday too. Whenever I cook at home, you know, they just call them mashallah. Or just look, you know, this is very easy. Just do it this way, or these are the steps, and and I I want them to carry on the legacy. Yeah. So how do I wash the meat? Grab each piece, you know, kind of, you know, kind of rub. You want to get rid of the. Do you see any blood? Obviously, no soap. Just 
Oh, no, no, you just water. swallow. <laughs> no, see, I'm like, wash the meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're like, yeah, a little dawn in there. <laughs>